Hello, hello, you beautiful souls. Welcome back to my channel. We talk all things life, love, spirituality, and law of attraction. In this video, I'm going to share my secret three unexpected signs to let you know your manifestation is almost here. So hold the line. I'm assuming you found this video because you're wanting your manifestation to arrive. You're feeling that doubt. You're feeling that worry. You're like, when is it going to get here? Some of you may have been manifesting for the last five years and you're just like, is it ever going to come? I'm here to tell you it will. Just trust. Take a deep breath right now with me and sit back and listen to these three signs that you might be experiencing right now and it will bring you comfort to let you know that your desires are almost here. They're almost here. And my mentor always says, your every hope, your every wish, your every dream is meant to become your reality. So keep the faith. What's in your heart is meant for you. It just takes a little time for the universe to move people, places, and things to bring you what you need. So the first sign that we're going to go over is some sort of loss in your life. So a lot of times right before our manifestation arrives, we have struggle. We go through tough times. We lose a family member. We lose a friend. And I mean, in the sense of they transition to the other side. Um, but you could also have people falling out of your life. I was just watching a video yesterday about they were talking about um, somebody manifested like $3 million for their business. And prior to that, they had three people in the company that abruptly left and they were some really strong people for their business. And they were worried. They're like, how are we going to replace them? Oh my gosh. Well, that opened up space because maybe those three people, maybe they were holding some sort of energy block that was blocking that company from blooming. So sometimes when we think we're losing people and we think of like, what did we do wrong? Why are they leaving? It's actually the universe moving a blockage away so that it can bring you that desire on a silver platter. And it can be really hard because in the moment, you don't, you don't see the light. You don't see how this could be good. So if you found this video and you're experiencing this right now, get excited because this is the first unexpected sign that a lot of people don't really think about. Um, it's usually some sort of loss a family member passing away, people leaving you, and you just don't understand why or how you're going to get through it. But there's something better coming. And I'm not saying if you've lost a loved one that there's something better coming to replace them. That is so not what I'm saying. I am sending you so much love. If you're grieving the loss of somebody, I've lost my daughter and I've lost my dad. And it is not easy to go through the grieving process. So I'm sending you so much love and relax and just trust that your loved ones are now in the spirit world and they're going to make your manifestation come even quicker. So they're going to be your little guardian angel. Sometimes it is preparation. It's preparing you. Maybe there's a little piece of you that hasn't fully done your healing, healing yet in your own life, or maybe you're needing to, maybe somebody breaks up with you, right? And you didn't have the strength to endure that kind of loss before. And then all of a sudden you now are learning new things about you. You're learning your strengths. So maybe you're manifesting money, right? And all of a sudden your partner breaks up with you. You go through these three or four months of like, all right, I got my power back. I'm feeling strong. I'm not going to settle for anything less next time. I'm not going to let people treat me that way. And now you're in your like queendom or kingdom and money comes in because now you're ready to handle that money. Now you're not going to let somebody come and sneak their way into your life and somehow drain you of your money. You're not going to let a new partner come in and use you for your money. So keep that in mind too. Sometimes there's loss of whether it's a human being passing away or somebody leaving you because, and it's, it's there for you. It's there to strengthen you. It's there to help you heal and to be stronger and better so that you can handle your new desire. All right, let's move on. Number two, number two is odd requests. So you might be getting, you know, somebody from your past coming back and being like, hey, let's go to lunch. We haven't talked in a while. And sometimes what the universe is doing is it's bringing somebody back into your life because they are a messenger. They are going to bring you to somebody else in order to make that desire happen. So they might be connecting you to somebody. They might be connecting you to a new job, 
Um, they might literally just be taking you to a coffee shop where you have an idea that is born while you're talking to them. So always entertain odd requests, something that's new. And it's like, oh, the, when you see that request come in, you're like, okay, I remember Michelle saying this, this is different. I'm just going to roll with it and I'm going to explore it. And remember, don't just go with whoever, if that person doesn't feel good in your body and you are with them and you're just like, I don't really vibe with their energy, then you don't have to go. But you could also see the request as, okay, this is a sign that my manifestation might be coming soon because I am getting these odd requests. Okay. And then the last unexpected sign, number three is you are spending a lot of money. Big bills are coming in. You are pouring out and you're feeling like nothing is coming back in. That is a sign that sometimes we need to fully let go and pour out into the universe. You know, if the universe is round, the earth is round, we are putting out and we're getting it back, putting out and getting it back. So if you feel like you've just paid a large bill, say it's like a $6,000 bill, guess what? almost double, triple that is going to come back to you. It's just a matter of time. So the universe is testing you when you're dealing with the loss, when you're dealing with these unexpected signs, the loss, these odd requests, um, and then, you know, money kind of like flooding out of your wallet and your bank account. Don't panic, hold the line, stay true to yourself and your manifestations. Listen to your heart. If you know that you want something and it's been a dream of yours, the universe is working on it. It's just not going to happen when you expect it or how you expect it. So we have to be really, really open and we have to let go and say, I am worthy of this. I am worthy of waiting as long as I need to. I'm not going to worry. I'm not going to doubt. I'm just going to trust that when bad things are happening and I'm struggling, it's leading me to something new. And on my clock right now, it is 11, 11. Holy shit. <laughs> Let's get a little thumbs up on this video for that little synchronicity, because that is the universe saying it's coming. Okay, lovies. So if you're struggling right now and you think it's not going to arrive, it's coming. And the fact that you were guided to this video when you were guided here, that is another indicator that the universe is encouraging you to keep the faith and keep your vibration super high. Go shift your energy. As soon as you close out this video, don't go watch another video. Like it, subscribe <laughs> and then get your butt outside and go do something that brings you joy. Because as Abraham Hicks says, who is my spiritual teacher, when we are having fun and when we're being playful in life, we are not blocking any of our manifestations. We are basically opening up our bodies and our hearts and our mind and our arms and saying, I'm ready. I don't care when it comes. I know it's coming. I'm just going to act like I already have it. So I hope you enjoyed these three unexpected signs. I learned these later on in my journey and they are spot on. So anytime I have any kind of person leaving me or a death in the family, or I hear of somebody else losing somebody, or there's an odd request, I'm always like, okay, Michelle, it's okay to be sad about this, but I'm not gonna get myself discouraged. I know that I'm still headed in the right direction. All right, lovies, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.